this is why it's time for us to break up with the Democrats. And, and I may be one of the last people that you would have expected to say this because um, I have more patience than most. And, and, and I wanted, I wasn't dim exit. Um, I was uh, whatever I was, but I wasn't dim exit during the, the main campaign. But seeing them after the campaign, the Democratic establishment has made it clear that they won't know parts of Senator Sanders or the progressive movement that his 2016 campaign revitalized. They have made it abundantly clear that their singular focus is not on rebuilding the party for the better. Rather, they are interested in only interested in salvaging their jobs and securing their next paycheck. They have together decided that the only way that they can possibly remain relevant for their donors is to routinely regurgitate the only victory they can tell after losing in the most spectacular way to Donald J. Trump, otherwise known as the orange Oompa Loompa man child who allegedly enjoys golden showers from Russian prostitutes. I mean, this is who the Democratic establishment lost to. They could not beat a man who is polling at 40 percent approval ratings. Lower than George W. Bush, who also won the White House through an electoral victory, but a popular vote defeat. But this is who the Democratic Party and establishment lost to. And the only way they can console their grief is by relitigating the primaries, incessantly attacking Bernie Sanders and progressives with smear campaigns, swift voting and conspiracy theories. This, I'm going to be honest with you, this is almost as bad as as a drunken middle-aged former high school football star reliving his glory days uh, at a bar to the bartender who doesn't know whether or not they, it would be responsible to give this guy his fourth shot of cheap Russian vodka. This is how sad it is to me. But like that drunken football star, the only way the Democratic establishment can make it through the day is by reminiscing and replaying their Hail Mary pass to win the regional finals, otherwise known as the primaries. That was the highest watermark in an abysmal career of losing. But, but maybe, perhaps there's more to this, these relitigated attacks against progressives and Bernie Sanders. Maybe it's more than just the fact that they need to save face and preserve their careers. Perhaps, perhaps these attacks are more about solidifying their control and their echo chamber by galvanizing the disillusionment, uh, disillusionment of millions of voters who cannot fathom. They just cannot understand losing to the orange menace. And think about it. What better way to permanently remove any residual of progressivism than to target the anger of millions of voters towards Bernie Sanders and the progressive movement? Because as we all know, if it wasn't Russia that gave Donald Trump the election, then surely it was Bernie Sanders and the progressives. This is the most effective tool that the third way Democrats have in finally purging any notion of progressivism from the ranks of the corporate Democratic Party. If they can deride anything remotely corrected, connected to progressivism, then they can su successfully purge any notion of populism from the party. This is how you have legions of people, of voices, who at one time supported a policy to import prescription drugs from Canada in order to lower costs, suddenly turning coat and abandoning the entire concept in order to defend Cory Booker. You accomplish this by making it an issue of Bernie Sanders versus Cory Booker. And in any way possible, you have to find a way to blame Bernie Sanders. And because of all of that, it is time for us to break up with the Democratic Party once and for all. And to be sure, when I say break up, I do not mean shouting at Democratic operatives on Twitter. I mean walking away and taking everything that we have given them. The millions of dollars in donations, the millions of actual donors and voters who supported Bernie Sanders in the primaries, 
We should remove our financial and physical support from the Democratic Party and use that momentum to drive a coalition so strong that neoliberals are forced to reckon with it. When I say break up, I do not mean using just using the hashtag dim exit. I mean convincing, actively convincing your family, your friends, your followers to join a separate movement aimed at changing America and changing the world through progressivism. It's time for us to break up with the Democratic Party once and for all, because why? Why would we stay where we are not wanted? They have made it clear that they want no parts of progressivism. They have made it clear that they would rather fight this fight without their base. They don't want us to speak up. They don't want us to participate. They want us gone. So why would we stay where we are not wanted? Quite frankly, you can have the Democratic Party. Take them and keep them. You can have Cory Booker. Please, we'll take Nina Turner. You can have Chuck Schumer. We'll take Keith Ellison. You can have Neer Tandon and the Center for American Progress, and we will take the progressive army. And when we think about it this way, when you put it this way, we quickly realize that the Democratic Party has been nothing but that self-centered, uh, abusive spouse who wants us to feel so miserable about ourselves that we would be too afraid and too unsure of ourselves to ever realize that we have been doing them a favor by staying with a washed up former star. And once you realize this, it becomes so much easier for us to issue our dear John letter to the establishment. So dear Democrats, by the time you read these lines, we will be gone. Gone organizing a movement that you cannot control, that you cannot put in check, and most of all, you cannot silence. The Benjamin Dixon Show is only possible with listener support. Go to www.thebenjamindixonshow.com to register for our blog, join the Progressive Army, and support The Benjamin Dixon Show. If you like this episode, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Consider becoming a Patreon. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash the BPD show and support the Benjamin Dixon show.